Hi Stencil Girl fans, it's Karen here and I'm here to share my Team Tuesday tutorial with you guys today. Today we're going to be doing a Halloween spooky kind of page and I'm going to be using Roxanne Coble's Rabid Bunny Stencil. The page that I put together is really a reflection on everything that I love about this time of the year and all the way through the year really. I'm kind of obsessed with bones, anatomy, skulls, anatomical hearts, those kind of things are really my jam. So Roxanne Coble's stencil is one of my favourites and I hope that you enjoy the tutorial that I'm going to make with it today. Okay, so before we go ahead and get started working in our altered book page, I'm going to pick out a few words that I want to try and keep as I can to add into the background of my page. I love working with found poems and found words and they just there's something magical about them. They seem to come together so, so well for whatever project that I'm doing. So I picked this page because there was a few words that jumped out at me. So I'm just going to grab my pencil and highlight them because I'm going to be gessoing over this page, but I'd like to try and keep these words out. So I'm just going to read through the words. So we've got carcasses, uh, an, an uneven set of teeth, possessed by evil spirits. So this page is really lending itself to the type of journal page that we're going to be making in it. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight a few more words and I'll come back to you. a few of the words that I have here that I would like to keep. I have sketched around them in pencil so I'm not too worried if the pencil still shows through but there's some really great words here. Um, possessed by evil spirits is one, cried out in its language of howls, calling down curses upon him. So it's a really uh, spooky page for this Halloween themed uh, page journal that we're going to be doing. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is I'm going to very very lightly gesso over the page. I have my my big tub of gesso right here and I also have my palette knife. What I'm going to do is I'm going to slightly paint around the words that I'd like to try and keep and then I'm just going to slap the gesso on everywhere else just so that I can try and keep the outline and the words kind of coming through as much as I possibly can. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and we'll talk afterwards. gesso now on my page. When you're working in an altered book it's not always essential to put a layer of gesso in. In fact often I don't bother at all but because I know I'm going to be adding in a few extra layers to this page and a few elements are going to be stuck onto it I decided to put the gesso in to just give it a little bit of extra structure and strength. 
So now I have my gesso on, I'm going to go in ahead and put some colour into the page. And I have picked out a few colours here. So I have this lovely paint from Paper Art. See, this is Lake Wanaka and it's a chalk paint. So it's going to be a really nice kind of matte finish to it. I also have a couple of other colours here. I have a night blue and a sea spray. These are just uh, craft acrylics. And I also have this paint here from Sennelia. This is the abstract paint and this is an iridescent black. So it's a little um, kind of lighter than a black. It's almost a grey and it's got a really nice shimmer uh, into that. So it'll be really nice to put on top. So again, I'm going to use the palette knife and I'm just going to really roughly put my paint onto my page. Okay, so as you can see I have added in all of the paint to my page and using the palette knife gives you this gorgeous texture all over it. I decided to add in some extra black because I felt that it just wasn't dark enough. So now I have done this I'm going to move on to making my bunny. So I have the rabbit bunny stencil here in front of me and I'm going to be stenciling in the background of the bunny in black first and then I'm going to add his bones and intestines and all that other good stuff in afterwards. stenciled in black I'm going to go over him again with the white paint and I am going to add in all of his details here 
So when you're stenciling over black, I would definitely recommend that you invest in a heavier body white paint rather than just white acrylic paint, craft paint, because it really does make all the difference. It gives you much better opacity than perhaps a regular um, cheap craft paint would do. So I am going to stencil over the top of him using this paint from Sennelier and it is a really great paint I absolutely love using it it's great for all things stencils and jelly plates everything like that and it's a much denser paint than a regular craft paint would be so if you can save up your pennies and invest in a slightly heavier body white and a heavier body black it will definitely last you for a very long time and you'll use them in a lot of products so I'm gonna go ahead and add in the details bunny is all dry and amazing because I love all of this guts and bones and stuff it's really really cool so for this next part what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a little bit more of dimension to my bunny and I'm going to stitch in his intestines in red so for this I'm going to use a paper piercer to pierce the holes first before I go ahead and stitch because it's much easier and uh, with unlike fabric when you put the needle up through or in through the paper you're going to be able to see the hole afterwards so it's always a good idea when you are stitching in paper to make sure that you plan out exactly where it's going to go first so I'm going to go ahead and poke some holes with my paper piercer just following the outlines of the stencil that I have here it's going to be a very simple straight stitch nothing fancy you really can't go too mad when you're you're stitching onto this kind of paper because it isn't the best of quality paper in terms of holding up for the stitches so you really need to be careful so a simple straight stitch works just as well so I'm going to go ahead and pierce some holes along here My holes punched I'm gonna go ahead and start stitching so I have some red thread just in a regular embroidery needle I've tied a little knot in the end of it but I'm going to secure it onto the back with some washi tape as well so I'm just gonna pop it in first into the first hole and I'm just going to slightly attach it with the washi tape because the book text is not very thick and you just want to be really careful when you're pulling it through that you're not pulling it through too tight so I'm just going to secure it at the back here and I'm going to go ahead and work away and stitch in my guts and I will talk to you afterwards So here is my bunny, he looks amazing with all of the stitching finished in his guts so I'm really pleased with how he turned out. So now I'm going to attach him onto my page, I'm just going to add in the stencil that I've cut it out with some Yoohoo 
and then I'm going to add in a quote to my page as well. So I've gone ahead and I've stamped using a little alphabet stamp that I have and I've stamped them on to masking tape with some black stays on. So I just attached it onto my craft sheet so that it would lie flat and I can be able to peel this off as well. I'm going to rip out the words, cut them up and I'm going to attach them onto the black washi tape and then I'm going to pop the finished words onto the page here. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with that and I'll talk to you in a little bit. first few words here so I just wanted to show you what I was doing so I've taken the stamped words here and I've cut them out ripped them and I've stuck them then onto the black washi tape directly and then I am sticking the page the words to the page directly here so that I'm going to have them kind of going across now it might end up that I will cover quite a few of the words that I've left out I'll see how I go but I'm not too bothered about it if it does um, I really like how it's going so I'm going to go ahead and get started with the rest of the words and we'll talk later on finished and I love it. I love the texture of the guts inside the bunny. I just love this bunny and I love the quote and how it turned out. Uh, the quote by Edgar Allan Poe from The Raven is just perfect. So that is my page all finished up. As you can see it was a very simple page to put together and I really love all of the different textures all over the page with the masking tape and the washi tape and everything. And if you were very careful to notice I put the words in the wrong order at the start. I thought I was being super clever and getting a head start of myself. So when I started to put down the rest of the words, I was like, hang on a minute, this isn't quite right. So I luckily, because it's the washi tape, I didn't stick down too uh, well to the page. So I was able to peel it off uh, there just so I could rearrange things. So in the end, I'm really pleased with it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial and we'll see you again next time.